Hello, it's Dr. Ubershadow MD, and uh, we are currently making our way down to the central shaft to the energy dampening generator and destroying it. In the last episode, we got mind whammied by a telepathic Borg like creature that's bent on the destruction of the entire galaxy. They're thinking big. Thinking big indeed. They must grow them down here. Right. They must use the materials gathered by the harvesters to build all this equipment. Okay, I died. Fine, 
dialogue in the Doors gonna close. I'm gonna be left behind. Insignificant creatures, you cannot stop us. This forge is but the first of millions. We will launch the seed. It will grow into a new forge and create thousands more. You have simply delayed the inevitable. The Forsoth shall conquer your galaxy. Then. Countless others. Durant! She blocked the voice again. Must have overwhelmed her. Alex, listen, we've got to get out of here. The whole place is going to blow. Come on, let's go! Chang, take Durant. Get her back to Voyager. Wait, what? Alex, where are you going? You saw the visions. All this is going to start all over again if I don't stop that seed. Wait, let us... No, you've got to get Gerard back to Voyager. This is my decision. Now go! But... Cool. Uh, I guess I'm in the final, final stretch. Facing a final boss. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let me just. Ninety ninety nine? I know, okay, yep. Let me just save it really quickly. It's scary when a game maxes out all of your ammo to uh ninety-nine, right before something big's gonna happen. Into Tuvok. Ensign Monroe, acknowledge. Ms. Monroe, you are violating direct orders. Let's beam back. You have communication device. <coughs> you have the badge, so you can locate her. Why just beam her out? Unless you can't beam out, that's why they need to settle. Yeah, that's right. Never mind. Looks like a uh. Look at all this ammo, Jesus Christ. Foolish human. You cannot hope to stop the force off. Who? What are you? I am the force off. I was created by the ancient ones. I shall carry out their programming. The seed will be launched to create a new forge. We can never be stopped. Wait, listen to me. In your visions, 
I saw... This machine is thousands of years old. How do you know that your purpose is conquest? Your makers may have only intended to use you for research. They may have been explorers like ourselves. Nonsense. Our programming is clear. We are engineered for perfection. We are created to conquer. But through the thousands of years, your original programming may have deteriorated. Do you even remember who built you? Where did they come from? What did they look like? The race of beings who first made you might even be extinct. Silence! The sea will be launched. You shall be destroyed.
of kicking your ass. got some readings on our position. We're still in the Delta Quadrant, but we're over 200 light years closer to the Alpha Quadrant. So, we gained a few months. Not bad. Get us back on course for home, Mr. Paris. Looks like your plan worked, Ensign. Yes. Congratulations, Monroe. Good work. I just your performance dissipated was direct quite order. You appear to be injured. You should report to sickbay. Yes, sir. I disobey direct order. Are we gonna Alex? ignore that? Delcia, hi. Penny for your thoughts? What's a penny? I don't know. Some old phrase I heard Paris say once. It was a nice service. For Beastmen and the others? Yeah, for a funeral. You couldn't have helped them, you know. You did the best you could. They knew the risks. They were professionals. I know. When you disappeared on the Ethereum ship, I told myself the same thing. It didn't make me feel any better then, either. You can't bring them back. Don't live in the past. Look toward the future. You have a bright future. Do I? Sure. Trust me. Is this a private party, or can anyone join? How are you doing, Monroe? As good as can be expected, I guess. Lieutenant Monroe? I thought it was Ensign. Those pips suit you well. Oh, I got promoted. Okay. Cool. Thank you, sir. You had us worried there at the end. Ms. Monroe disobeyed orders and did not board the escape shuttle. I'm sorry, sir. There was something I had to do. We know, Lieutenant. We all saw the alien visions. You did what you had to do. It was commendable. You were willing to sacrifice yourself for the whole. As did the entire team. You all performed bravely. The Hazard team has proven to be more valuable than we imagined. Starfleet just might adopt your idea when we get back to the... Thank you, Captain. But I think Ms. Monroe is the one most responsible for the success of the team. It took some time, and not inconsiderable effort. But you have proven yourself to be an outstanding officer and a natural leader. As I always believed... Really? Because I had, like, Thank three you, or four sir. casualties on my hands. I was afraid you would think my decision was too... Impulsive. Sometimes, Lieutenant, your gut instinct is better than what logic and procedure would suggest. Both are needed in a good leader. That is why I chose you to begin with. Yes, sir. I understand. Why, Tuvok? Is that a bit of pride I detect? Surely, Captain. There is no cause to insult me. <laughs> oh, Lens. All, all ends well, the ends well, ends well. Best until next time. Captain, as you were in. <laughs> <laughs> 